Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 22nd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, you know. It, there is no clocks. There is no clocks. So, And this reading may not be for you. So, you know, if, if there's any kind of trigger that says no, then the reading's not for you. This is for the 22nd. What do we got? What do we got, dear universe? God, angels, and spirits. Well, I guess we'll take those. Three of pentacles reversed. It's a mess. <laughs> it is a mess, isn't it? Things aren't working out. Because, oh, God. Justice. We'll take a look at that. The Empress reversed the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. So it looks to me like somebody is trying to regain balance for sure I mean this is a card of balance and sixes are a card of balance so somebody is trying to restore balance in their life maybe they are working really really hard somebody is working really really hard to restore balance and harmony right to do the right thing things have been messy really messy I think that there's been a lack of, of nurturing and this is nurturing of themselves okay it is the Empress reversed there's been a lack of growth somebody has lost their creativity okay they have they haven't they've lost their drive they've lost their ambition they've lost their um, ability to create and the only way to get that ability back is to put in a lot of effort and perhaps give give a little more something like that so now this is this now the six the six of pentacles and the justice card are both about getting what you deserve. But you get what you deserve by doing the right thing. So somebody is feeling comfortable with doing what they need to do to be successful. So congratulations. But with this empress reversed, I mean there's a feeling of selfishness and sometimes you gotta be selfish for yourself you know it's not really other people may think that you're being selfish but if you don't take care of you who's gonna right so I feel like somebody has been bogged down by the details and now it's time to get creative and create something new the paint a new picture right you know, it's time to paint a new picture. but And that may seem selfish to the outsiders, but the only way to make progress and to bring success to your life is to do what's right for you, right? Is to, is to be confident in who you are. To climb that mountain, even if you're doing it alone, whatever. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is thinking, you know, I deserve happiness. I deserve to follow my own path. I deserve to do what's right for me. And if you don't like it, then anyhow, um, I feel as though somebody is finding the confidence to overcome some sort of hardship. It's like... I can do this. I can do this. I know that I can do this. Whew! Three of Swords. Knave of Cups or Chalices reversed. The Moon reversed. You know, we've had this moon quite a bit, right? Well, it is still the full moon energies. It is the 21st. And boy, that moon has been 
rough, okay? Very emotional. Then we have the Four of Cups reverse. Somebody has been discontent. And you know, Nine of Pentacles. Now I just did the weekend weekend reading. And now this is this is the last card right here. It's like being self-sufficient. It's working hard to achieve. Um, being grateful. Look at all that this person has. This person has worked hard to achieve success. I mean, the table is loaded. I mean, everything is, is dressed up nice. She's very comfortable. Somebody has become very comfortable on their own. And it hasn't come easy. It's come through hard work. So I really feel as somebody is working hard to be successful. And I feel like tomorrow or in the next day or two or whenever this resonates for you. Um, somebody may receive some sort of reality check or truth or revelation or something they may re something may come to light that helps them to bring balance back to their lives you know with those of all those balance cards and with the moon reversed it's like something is going to be revealed something is going to be revealed now this re revelation could be about a, re a, a a love, okay, with that Knave of Cups reversed, somebody could receive some sort of revelation or some sort of truth about, and this is the truth coming out as well, the justice, some sort of truth may come out or be realized or accepted about a painful situation that somebody, that has caused a big mess. There's been some sort of hurt or there's going to be some hurt. I mean, this is painful. The Three of Swords, we all know that the Three of Swords is pain. So there's some sort of painful, perhaps painful truth about a relationship or about a love connection that... is being lost it's being it's being lost or thrown away or something like that i mean the the four of cups reversed it's like this isn't this isn't what i'm looking for i deserve more than this somebody may be getting a revelation that and this is very much like the re weekend reading but a little bit different because this is based on a relationship for sure it is i feel like there's a there's a painful ending here in which somebody has you know it's gone gray. It, it's lost its passion. It's lost its color. It's lost its flair. And I feel like somebody if, has realized that the truth is I have to do the right thing and go my own way. That means I have to do the right thing and go my own way because this isn't love and I deserve more and you deserve more. And I know this isn't going to be easy, but I have to, you know... I, I envision something more than this, and I think that somebody is deciding that it's time to, you know, act with integrity and make a final decision about what's going to restore balance and harmony in their life, and, and they probably are deciding that they want to be single. I mean, the last card is being single. I can, I, I can do this on my own. I can do this on my own instead of staying in this lie because somebody has been staying in a situation where they feel smothered they feel um, like there's no growth there they feel like there's secrets they they're discontent there's there's no love there you know somebody's been in a situation where there's there's no love and, and that's what the, that is what this is and it's like now it's time it's time to do the right thing because I'm, I'm ready to bring balance and harmony back to my life and I know that this hurts but you know there's there's just no more there's no more passion here there's no more color here there's no more there's nothing bright about this situation and I have to I have to uh, go after what I deserve so I feel like somebody it may be revealing the truth or they may be just you know deciding that it's time to go in a new direction. I and mean, that's what it looks like to me. So, 
six of cups reversed. Ah, the hand, the hand goes right to the to the heart. That's instant, instant. So somebody's been clinging to the memories. They've been clinging to the past, and perhaps now it's it's really time to let go of this pain. It's really time to, you know, finalize. It's time to finalize this. situation you know there's been no compromise there's been no togetherness there's been no communication or lack of communication and it's like the love has died somebody may have stayed in the situation for the children okay somebody may have stayed because of the memories but it's like now i got to do the right thing i think that somebody is making a decision because they want to bring balance back to their life. And that's the way it is. It's like they can't live this lie anymore. It's time to go my own way. The hermit. I mean, somebody is absolutely deciding that it's time to go my own way. It's time for me to go within. It's time for me to take to reflect and come up with a new plan for my new life. Somebody is is really going through a spiritual awakening and it's like they know it's like they know that it is time to honor themselves somebody is becoming consciously aware of their own needs and, re and this is very similar very similar to the weekend read you think about the hermit the hermit retreats somebody is retreating because they know that's what they need to do to bring closure. Nines are about closure to a painful situation. Five of Pentacles. Somebody is being left out in the cold. Somebody may be being ghosted. And I feel like somebody may feel lost. Somebody's deciding that they don't have the energy or the de desire or to put in effort to work any harder on a situation. I just, I can't do it anymore. I don't even care about it. I don't care. I don't care. So I feel like somebody is making a decision that, this is making the final decision to let go of the past, you know, whatever, because there's no more love there. And taking time all the time they need to bring closure to a situation. But they may be feeling smothered. And maybe they need to retreat because they're feeling smothered. It's just but like it's it, there's there's been a situation where there's there's been it's been too much. It's been overwhelming. And the only way to to get through it is to ghost. And I and I don't encourage that, but it feels like Again, it's very similar to the weekend reading I just did. It's like, I'm not going to put in effort. I'm climbing this mountain by myself. I know what I deserve. But right now, I don't have any love to offer. Same deal. Same deal. Somebody is deciding to go their own way. The Nine of Pentacles. This is the independent, self-sufficient person who is enjoying the finer things of life on their own. Rebuilding. Building abundance. And quite happy with what they're building. So I feel like somebody is healing from a significant storm in their life. And they're probably not wanting help you know i'm doing this by myself that's what i see i feel like we have somebody here that is in the process it's very similar to the weekend reading can't wait to see what saturdays has to say anyway somebody is healing from a painful end a painful past painful past three of swords six of cups reversed a painful past somebody is making a decision to go within to heal for real. Somebody has been
maybe trying to escape the healing process. The moon is escape, and this is this is healing. And this is healing, and, and it's like I can't escape it. I realize I can't escape it. I need time. So I really feel as though we have somebody here that is, again, going within to deal with their own hurdles. I mean, I can't, I can't pretty this up. It's just the way it is. Um, same story. So I think Friday is about, you know, again, pushing people away. I do. I mean, I'm not going to pretty it up and pretend that it's all peaches and cream and somebody's coming to sweep you off your feet because we have this in reverse. If somebody does come to sweep you off your feet, it's bullshit. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody, you know, that is trying to push, really, really trying to push you, and you're not ready. You're not ready. I mean, the Empress in reverse is a person that is pushy. So somebody may, may be like just shutting it all down, you know, shutting off the electronics, shutting down everything and saying, nope, I'm doing this. Putting up a serious barrier. barrier. You think about a mountain, that's a barrier. Somebody is putting up a barrier so that they can heal from a painful separation. Believe in magic. Journey by moonlight. That ought to be interesting. That might pretty it up for you. Journey by moonlight. Magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mystical realms are only a thought away. This is becoming consciously aware, going through a spiritual awakening. Anyway, the veil is thin right now between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings. It's indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening the doors to the realms is to trust. Even if you can't see it, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition and those nudges from spirit. Believe. When the traveler journeys by moonlight, and it's funny because we have the moon right here. And this is the moon. And we just had a very powerful full moon. Today is the 21st, so still very powerful. But this is for the 22nd, but whatever. When the, journey, when the traveler journeys by moonlight, mystical beings emerge and magic abounds in the depth of the, unchant or the enchanted forest. Even though the traveler can't see clearly, he trusts that blessings and support are showered over him in his life. And this is Jesus' consciousness as well. Somebody's becoming consciously aware of what they deserve. That's great. Anyway, even though the traveler can't see clearly, he trusts that blessings and support are being showered over him in his life. The key to having miracles transpire in your life is to believe in magic and trust that you are supported by unseen beings in accordance with your higher good. So somebody is going within and becoming consciously aware and they know, it's like I said earlier, they know, they know that they need to do this alone to bring balance and harmony back to their life to get what they deserve. They're trusting the process instead of trying to escape the process. That's what I got. That's for Friday. Good luck. Oh, and by the way, I'm not doing any private readings. I am doing the ones I got booked. But as far as accepting new ones, uh, not right now. Talk to you later.